Hi, I'm Grace with Sitka Seafood Market, and today we're going to make salmon tikka masala. Ready? Okay. <laughs> tikka masala is a classic Indian dish. And it consists of protein, chunks of protein like lamb or chicken that's marinated in a very fragrant yogurt marinade. The protein is then either grilled or pan seared or baked at a high temperature. And then it's simmered in a fragrant simmer sauce. And so today we're doing it with salmon. First things first is to take the skin and the pin bones off of the fish. So the, the marinade consists of yogurt, and I like to use regular full-fat yogurt. You can use full-fat Greek yogurt mixed with a little bit of water, like a half a cup of yogurt with a quarter cup of water, or three quarters of a cup of plain yogurt. And then we've got the spice mixture that is going to marinate the fish. So there's cumin, coriander, cardamom, cayenne pepper, and turmeric. Pinch of salt. The nice thing about the yogurt is that it tenderizes the fish. It, it sort of acts as a, like a brine, um, and it adds flavor and moisture inside and out. So this is the marinade, and we're going to coat the fish in the marinade and let it sit at room temperature for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, a sturdier protein like lamb or chicken can go overnight because it's sturdier and it won't break down. But for something like salmon, you wanna just do uh, about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so after 20 minutes, now what we'll do is scrape the marinade off the fish reserving the marinade because that's going to become the base for the simmer sauce. Be gentle because the fish has a little bit, has become a little bit more tender. And then let's set this aside for when we build our sauce. So in a large nonstick skillet, let's melt a tablespoon of butter because butter is actually one of the key ingredients in uh, tikka masala. You can use ghee, a tablespoon of ghee, which is, is basically melted butter with the milk solids removed. We'll add the fish to the skillet to get it brown, get a little bit of that caramelization happening. It's so fragrant. The, the spices are so intense and beautiful. And so we'll give it about one to three minutes per side. You want to cook it so that it's almost cooked all the way through, but not, but not completely cooked through. All right, so I'm going to transfer this to a clean plate. And now we'll start building our simmering sauce. So wipe out the skillet of any burnt bits or milk solids. And now we can saute our aromatics. So we've got three tablespoons of butter. I know it sounds like a lot, but it is one of the crucial ingredients in the dish. And to that, we're going to add some onion, ginger. So that's one small onion, two teaspoons of ginger, and a really good size garlic clove, all minced and start stirring that together. And then let that cook over medium-high heat for about five to seven minutes until it's, it's gold, lightly golden. It smells delicious. The ginger is really fragrant. To that, I'm going to be adding some garam masala, which is a blend of spices like cloves, and cardamom, ginger, chilies, um, and then also cashmere chili powder, 
which is a mild, it's like a medium hot ground chili powder. You can use some hot paprika, you could use half as much cayenne. And what I'm doing now is like blooming all of the, the spices. Next goes a can, 14 ounce can of diced tomato and their juices and a quarter cup, quarter cup of water. And we're gonna let that simmer for mm, five, 10 minutes so that it's slightly thickened. So the liquid's reduced and it's ready for pureeing. The sauce goes into the blender. Hopefully not as much on the cutting board as I have here. And the marinade gets added to the blender as well. So this is gonna be the creamy part of the sauce, which makes it so nice, rich, and luxurious. There we go. We have it. So the sauce gets returned to the skillet. Look at that beautiful color. Between the Kashmiri chili powder, the turmeric, the tomatoes, and the yogurt, you have this gorgeous, sunny, pink, orange sauce. So then we'll return the fish. and then let it simmer for about five to eight minutes. And then spoon some of the sauce on top. Okay, so now we're ready to serve. Grab a filet, pop it on top of some nice steamed basmati rice. Spoon some of this delicious masala, tikka masala sauce on top. Garnish with some fresh cilantro and serve it with naan. And there you have it, salmon tikka masala. For this and more recipes, check out sitkaseafoodmarket.com.